Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back for another book review of a 2021 new release, and this time it is Elder Race by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I first became aware of this book when watching a review on it, I think from Alan at the Library of Alexandria, and his review just really caught my attention. And then I was like, okay, I want to read this sooner rather than later. This book follows two main characters. We have Lynn, who is the fourth daughter of a queen, and we have Mir, who is an anthropologist from our long lost earth. Now, Lynn and her family are also descendants of Earth, and they came, their ancestors came over on a generation ship. And then Nir and his fellow anthropologists came later to see what happened to these, or what happened to the descendants of these original travelers. And so at the start of this book, Lynn has gone to the Sorcerer's Tower, and her and her society believe Nir to be a sorcerer and she is wanting his help to f defeat a demon. He tries to tell her that there is no such thing as demons, but he's willing to go look and see if it is old technology that is being brought to light and misused. Even though that this actually violates his oath as an anthropologist, he's only supposed to observe, not to interject himself. But this is actually the second time that someone from Lynn's family has come to ask for his help. Something that the author has done that I find is very interesting is this reads as a dual science fiction and fantasy. The chapters we get from Lynn are very much written in a fantasy style, especially since her society believes in stories and honor. She's been trained in a sword. They believe in magic. In the book, they call it a post-tech society because they had technology and now they don't, or at least not the same degree to it. And their language has changed. And Nir, who in his tower is very much still attached to technology, and in fact, his society has even gone on further to do enhancements to their bodies in order to access technology better, his chapters are very much science fiction and he'll be talking about like we have the satellite that's then mapping the t the ground the area um, talks about spaceships robots whereas lynn is talking about monsters and it's interesting to see the interplay between them especially as mir keeps trying to explain to lynn that there's no such thing as monsters or demons it's just technology that was, but the translation program is translating his words to her and they're not, she's not hearing what he's trying to say. And actually one of the chapters in the book, he tells the story of how her ancestors came to be where they are and it shows his explanation on one side of the page and then what she's hearing on the second side. And you can really see the difficulties of communication that these two are having. Now, they aren't the only ones going to kill the demon. They have Esha and then later pick up another gentleman. And so you have some interplay between the characters as well. But this was a really fun read just from those different fantasy and science fiction elements. So something interesting I thought they did with the characters is they have Nier who has clinical depression. Or the way that he copes is he has a program that he can activate that can allow him to remove the emotions from his mind as he's trying to make decisions. Later he does have to feel all of his emotions, but he can set them aside so he can function. It was an interesting way for a mental health rep, but also how technology can be used or could be used in order to help people. I don't have anything else to say about this. I actually really enjoyed it. And I think that this is a book that more people should read. 
I am also going to link the review that I listened to that got me interested in this in case you're wanting to hear a little bit more expounded upon the book. But thank you and have a great day.